Let's begin with our topic encephalitis and in this first section of our lecture topic we will discuss what is encephalitis, how we define encephalitis, how the condition encephalitis present, what are the clinical uh, manifestations of encephalitis and also what are the causes of uh, encephalitis. So first the definition of encephalitis in the encephalitis is the condition in which the brain parenchyma is involved. The parenchyma cephal is for the brain uh, parenchyma so that is affected or inflamed in the condition known as encephalitis. So brain parenchyma involvement. Patients with encephalitis usually they have uh, associated meningitis. Meninges are the coverings that cover or the layers of the brain and spinal cord. So when the brain parenchyma is affected, meninges sometimes are affected also. So they have meningitis with encephalitis. So have associated meningitis, involvement of spinal cord, involvement of nerve root and encephalomyelitis. So it's the uh, encephalitis, now you in the broader term if you see it's the involvement of the brain parenchyma and in the parenchyma we have along with encephalitis we have uh, meningitis, involvement of spinal cord, involvement of the nerve root and encephalomyelitis. So that's all the uh, features which are associated with encephalitis. Here they broaden the picture of small parenchymal area of the brain and that's what encephalitis is when it is affected by the infection. Now the clinical manifestations of encephalitis features are acute febrile illness. Patient have an acute febrile illness, they will present with the fever. There is meningeal involvement, meninges are also affected. Altered level of consciousness, so patient might have confusion. So altered consciousness level. Uh, depressed level of consciousness, uh, mild lethargy to coma, so patient might have lethargy, no energy, listlessness or they might go to complete coma or unconsciousness. Focal or diffuse neurologic signs. Hallucinations and agitation. So hallucinated, they are hallucinated, they are not in their senses, they see things uh, which are not real. So hallucinations are present, agitation is there. So all these are features associated with encephalitis. There is altered level of consciousness. There is a lethargy, coma, uh, involvement of the meninges, acute febrile illness. All these are different manifestations associated with encephalitis. Then the clinical manifestations include the personality change associated with the uh, uh, encephalitis. Then we have behavioral disorders, uh, frankly, frankly psychotic state like hallucinations, illusions, delusions. These are the psychotic state the patient might actually have psychotic states, they can go into psychosis which are serious mental disorder, serious mental conditions. So these are the again manifestations, focal or generalized seizures are also present. So there might be focal or generalized seizures. 
focal neurologic disturbances, infection, and inflammation. So all these are the clinical manifestations associated with encephalitis. We have personality change, psychotic disorders, uh, seizures, neurologic disturbances, and inflammation. Some other clinical features which might be associated with encephalitis, there is aphasia and ataxia. Difficulty in walking pattern, ataxic patient, they cannot walk straight, ataxic, and they have aphasia. Uh, difficulty in speaking, aphasic. Then we have upper or lower motor neuron pattern of weakness. Uh, involuntary movement, they have myoclonus jerky movements are present like Parkinsonism, which have uh, movements, uh, we also have myoclonic jerk present. So these are all the conditions which are present with the encephalitis. So if you look at the clinical features and clinical manifestations, so encephalitis is a really bad condition can cause all these different neurological disturbances. Cranial nerve deficit, temperature dysregulation, uh, diabetes insipidus and SIADH syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. So all these are the manifestations of encephalitis. Next, the causes etiology is the viral etiology is very common viral etiology. The commonly associated viruses with the encephalitis or viral encephalitis uh, cause uh, sporadic cause cases, acute encephalitis in immunocompetent. Examples are herpes viruses, epidemics by arboviruses, uh, alpha viruses, bunia viruses or flevi viruses. Next, some common cause alpha viruses, some viruses that can cause en encephalitis. We have alpha viruses. These alpha viruses are uh, uh, eastern equine encephalitis virus, so EEE, -E -E, Eastern Equine, as compared to Western Equine Encephalitis, WEEV. -E so these are the two alpha viruses that can cause encephalitis. Then we have some flavi viruses, which are MNV, uh, WNV, Western Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis virus, Japanese encephalitis virus and uh, Powassan virus. These are the flavi viruses. Then we have Bunia viruses. These Bunia viruses like California encephalitis virus zero group. Uh, La uh, cross virus. Then we have again uh, Nipah virus, member of Paramyxoviridae family. So Nipah virus is from the Paramyxoviridae family. Uh, Arbovirus, which is Toscana virus. Uh, Chikungunya virus is also an Arbovirus. Then we have parecoviruses like human uh, parecovirus 3 type HPEV3, piconavirus. So all these are different viruses that can cause uh, viral encephalitis. Thank you for watching Scardia.com.